I'm Andre Shalaby, the ignition specialist for the Slocan Lake Complex. Lemon Creek has a major geographic checkpoint here. Slocan City over here, uh, Highway 6, so, uh, and these yellow lines here indicate private land and uh, a lot of structures within these private lands and a major transportation corridor from south to north up to Nakas. So this fire posed threats to Highway 6, the residences along here, and, uh, and potentially, uh, it was showing potential to continue growing north up and uh, towards Silverton and uh, other fires. So three days ago, we conducted ignition operations along the north flank of the fire. We utilized this uh, machine guard and tied into this other machine guard all the way to this uh, major point called O'Shea Creek. So the fire got right down to the creek. So we had an opportunity to tie this off here and control this section of line, which is about six kilometers by utilizing planned ignitions and bringing the fire down to the fire control line. In the last two days, the crews continued with any hand ignition, tie this off to the control line. And as of yesterday, this entire line is essentially out and most of the smoldering fires are up onto the hillside here. From this point to this point here, uh, you can see how the fire perimeter is a little bit higher. This is a, a younger timber type. Uh, uh, it's been replanted after logging and it's not really conducive to fire growth. So this part here is an area that we will be able to actively suppress because uh, the fire behavior will allow us to basically come in here and, and put this perimeter out. That said, from about this point here to here, very active fire edge, and the fire actually came down to Lemon Creek in the last couple of days and the fire edge is up like this and into some cut blocks. So showing high potential of coming around the south flank and then back out onto the highway from here. So yesterday we conducted an ignition from here along this uh, fire guard which is actually a road and along this road here. Uh, so this entire area was burned yesterday and we had great success in reaching a mixed severity fire, which means some ground surface fire that's quite beneficial ecologically. We did have some torching and a little bit of uh, continuous crown fire in some pockets due to the steepness of the terrain here. And also there is a lot of pre-existing dead timber in here from, I would imagine, insect disease or in infestations. And then along this side here, the severity was very, very low uh, and a, a very nice fire. By the end of the day, we had this entire line contained and very few smokes. Today, the crews will continue the mop up and, and containment efforts in here. And then the only outstanding piece now will be for the crews to uh, tie off this section here that it's very, very steep, quite rocky and there are some cliff bands in here to secure this part of the perimeter so it doesn't escape uh, back onto towards the highway. Completing all of this ignition here allowed us to contain the majority of the fire that is of concern for us in a very short time, in a, about a three day span versus crews uh, chasing the fire line in here in very steep country. This would have been most likely uh, a three-week effort that may have not been successful if and when fire conditions change and more propensity for fire growth uh, was upon us. Completing this operation was critical in achieving containment, which is our primary objective, uh, and containment along the flank that is would pose most risk to, to the public, to infrastructure, to properties and such. And doing this over the course of three days versus over the course of three weeks will minimize the smoke outputs from this fire itself, but also it will allow for a more expedient rescindment of uh, evacuation orders, which will allow folks to come back to their homes a lot quicker.